Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. And for today's video, I'm finally gonna be reviewing the Adept Cosmetic House of Elf. So this is a limited edition palette, guys. And I already went ahead and swatched it because I love doing Instagram reels. And look, at my fingers are stained. <laughs> so this is a limited edition palette. And it's currently sold out, but they are planning to bring it back. And it retails for $49. And it comes with three mattes, five multi-chromes, and one shimmer. And it says it is free of glitter, talc, and mineral oil. This palette is vegan. The shimmers in this palette are very shimmery and will require a good primer to prevent fallout because there will be fallout. There are not only a typical powder, but rather a cream gel that may move around when in transit or when you touch it. This is normal. Please be aware of this before purchasing. So they always put that warning. But you guys, oh my gosh. So I think this palette is going to be returning sometime in the summer. But I was really looking forward to this palette. So I've had this for a week already. So I was just trying to catch up on my content, my video content, because I've been behind for like two weeks you guys and then the lighting i know the light i'm not using ring light right now i'm using the windows i might look like too bright but yeah i just want to use natural lighting i feel like i could see better doing a makeup look that's why i had my alarm on and everything so i bought it within the first five minutes and i'm not sure how how long did it take till so sold out but i think it sold out within the first day i believe so yeah you guys i'm such a fan of a dev cosmetics already like I only have their, I only have the Heather Austin palette, so that's my first palette from them, and then this is my second palette from them. So I'm already familiar with the formula, and I'm like really a fan. I love the shimmers or the formula. It's so just touching it, oh, so creamy. It feels, it just feels so good to touch. They all swatch so beautiful, even the mattes, no problem, no patchiness, no anything. Like it was just a beautiful formula, guys. So I am in love already. I'm in love with this color. Sorry, it's very, very summery, very fun. Also, another thing, this was inspired by. They created this palette to honor their love of Christopher Reeve's portrayal of Superman as well as their love of the Grant Morrison version of Superman in the comments. So you guys, I'm only like a 90s baby, so I don't really remember the old Superman show <laughs> or is it the movie? I'm not sure, but yeah, I, I was too young to even remember it. I think I might have seen my brother watching it, but I was like so young, so I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, but also another detail, like the detail of the palette is very nice. They're, really upgrading their packaging so they're adding this little detail in their letters and also they added this to this coat so i just love the color like their packaging is very gorgeous too and i only have concealer i'm wearing two different concealer the pat mcgrath concealer and uh one size is uh, my pat mcgrath concealer it's a little bit dark so i have to like lighten up with the one size and then i put my pat mcgrath the finish eye sublime powder and also another thing i forgot to mention the mattes, when I swatch them, these are the only shades that stain. So, of course, these two shades. But that's what I mentioned in the description, too. So, in order to take it off, you have to use an oil-based makeup remover. So I just decided last minute that I just put my blinds on. Because the lighting is so bright, you guys. I really wanted to use natural lighting. So, I'm using some natural lighting with a different one on. That's where the sun's not as bright. Right here, the sun is so strong. And I'm using my ring light. So, I think this lighting is way better. <laughs> so, I'm so sorry about that. But, yeah, I was using the shade and... The formula of it it's really good so this is the shade Eroc l so i'm just gonna do it on my other eye so usually i always focus on one eye but sometimes i just i don't know I, I i spend too long on one eye and i don't want to make the video too long so look at the formula of it. it's not patchy at all it's so good it's so velvety and it's actually it looks more pigmented than it looks you would think it'll be like more brown but it actually has a hint of orange so it's like an orange beige so it's really pretty so it's not like this is a color that's the least pigmented i mean the least vivid i would say not pigmented so it is pigmented but and i'm just going to build up the shade because i went a little bit heavy on that side so oh my gosh i'm so excited guys so soft yeah so I'm not using glitter primer. I, I know someday I'll pick it up, you guys. I swear, this year, guys, I will pick it up. So whenever I need to go to Ulta, um, order something from Ulta, I'll order a glitter primer. So let me see. So I really want to use these shades. <laughs> so yeah, this shade is it's like a, this is the strongest dual chrome. So it's right here, the one right there. It's very shifty. It's like greenish and reddish. Oh my gosh, and brownish. So that's really pretty. So I think I might have it right here. 
a little bit. So let me just focus on this shade. This is the shade Cara Zor L. So, oh my god, that's so pretty, guys. And I'm using like an oval brush. And yeah. So, I, oh my gosh. So pretty. This has like an orangey shimmer. It's like orange pink. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. Maybe I'll do both eyes in front of you guys. So let me just do it right here too. So there's a like a light shimmer. It's so pretty though. So you just have to kind of build it up a little bit. Or it could be a pretty inner corner too. I'm gonna get this shade, Cal L. Let's just build it up. Oh yeah, I need to get grab more for that one. That one's super soft. <gasps> yeah, the product is moving. That one. So yeah, this one's might be a little bit more sheer. I thought it's gonna be more pigmented. Hmm. Actually, it's. Oh no, the more pigmented one is this orange one. I think that's a shimmer, and I think the other ones are duo chromes. That's what I was looking at. I was trying to figure out which one was a shimmer. This one's kind of sheer. It's like this one. So yeah, it's not coming up. Uh, as much so I, I think I'm just gonna have a hint of that a little bit yeah just a hint it's so pretty though <laughs> on this side kind of switch my arm a little okay okay or maybe I'll just put it down like that Zo L so I'm gonna go with Zo L and that one's like a very strong dual chrome so not sure why I'm doing it towards the end, but I'm just doing it because it's darker too. Let me just put it right there. Ooh. Hmm, maybe um I can't see it. All I see is um hold on. <laughs> it's pretty dark. I wasn't expecting that. It looks more um greenish. It could be the angle because it's supposed to be a strong dough chrome. So let me use my finger for that one. Because look at that, it's so pretty. So, let's see, it could be my life. Yeah, this one's um. Oh, I, actually, I see it now. Yeah, I see it better. Yes, yeah, because on one side you see it more greenish, but you have to kind of move around a little, and then you see that that dark red almost. So this one feels almost metallic-y. Okay, okay. So I'm probably gonna add another. It's so pretty though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so when you're using this shade, it might look greenish, like a like a dark mossy green. But it's the angle. This is a very strong duochrome, so you see it as a dark green. And then you have to switch around, you could see the reddish shade. So yeah, it definitely adds like a shadow. So I'm using my finger now and just adding that shade in. Okay. Ooh, dude, that's so cool. So yeah, I, I really like it. It's a very interesting shade, that one. Oh, okay. And then I think I want to add a little bit more because it seems so simple. This look, I didn't go crazy on my transition. So let's add a little bit of interest. Let's add some more pigment. Ugh, I'm so tempted by the teal, guys. You guys know I love my teals. Ah, I need to stay away. Okay, so I'm going to use the shade Mon L. And I'm going to, you know, this is really going to spice things up because it's very bright. <laughs> very bright so let me just focus it right here yeah so putting it on top of that dual chrome oh Ooh. okay I'm not sure if I had leftover from the other shadow did I? I don't think I did I think I have a little bit leftover glitter probably or maybe from the dual chrome so that glitter is kind of transferring up there all right ooh ooh yes this is a very interesting sh look. I'm having so much fun, guys. All right, so I guess I'm doing both eyes in front of you guys. Because why not, I guess? I don't always do that, guys. You say I always focus on one eye, but I'm actually not spending that much time. So you guys will see. I think I'm going to just fix this a little bit. I already did my concealer, so I have to kind of make it even a little bit. I can't really fix it. So let me just use the arrow out so I don't make it so dark. And you just kind of add it. Oh, yeah, maybe just keep it like that. Oh, you guys, the formula of this palette, you guys, 
I already know by my reaction. I'm so impressed. This one, Lara Vanel. It's like a the greenish lime one. Just gonna add it. So this look is so simple to do, you guys. So this palette is very easy to use. Oh yes. So I should add a little bit more right there. Since I went a little crazy. I guess I'll lift it up like I do sometimes, you guys. Just go like that. Oh, okay. Ooh, do you guys see this? Might have to lower my lighting. Let's see. Alright, so I lowered my lighting a little bit and this is how it looks looking. So, oh my gosh. I think I might add a little bit of an eyeliner, like a cute little eyeliner. And then I'm going to add my mascara and my lips. And then we'll be right back to do my final review. Okay, so I'm back. So this is the final eye look. So this eye look that I did, it's really like almost a more monochromatic moment. <laughs> almost. So yeah, I used um, some similar colors, but added like a nice dimension kind of look with them using the similar colors so ooh, oh my gosh i love the shimmers you guys the dual chromes oh they are beautiful so now this is my first look that i created with this palette so i want to do an additional look over my instagram i'm not sure when sometime this month so i'm sure i will be able to do it this palette formula guys very very high quality for 49 dollars i find it like highly worth it only if you guys like are into the colors of course so this is very bright colors so they all they kind of remind me like neon colors so i love i don't have that many neon colors so it's really fun to like play with this palette so it's very summery vibe too so you have a lot of like orange so, so the complementary color is the orange and the teal and then yeah it's, so this palette is overall it's such a beautiful color story that they mentioned that it's a new formula i'm not sure about the mattes but the mattes are great quality it's not patched at all very easy to work with so i haven't tested out this teal i tested out this so these very similar like formula this one i have to test out maybe with my second look but yeah it was very easy to use this shade as a transition like such a simple transition shade and this adds to just more vivid to the more vivid of a color to your eyes and i gotta say from the shades i use this one this is like the most like strongest dual chrome so it really shifts like hardcore you guys on the arm when you squash it and even on the eyes so that's why i was tripping out when i was putting on my eyes i'm like how come it, it looks like it wasn't showing up but it's because from my angle it looks more like um it looks more like like a brown uh, it's like a type of brown like almost like a greenish brown so that's the uh, the dual chrome of it i'm not sure what exactly but it's like a it's like a shift between like a like an army green like a very like dark olive green and it shifts to the orange so that's why the colors are similar so you only see in certain angles like when you go like that that's when you see it maybe you guys are seeing it too like what i'm really wondering like how would this shade look has like the like most of the lid kind of look it will look very like almost like grungy i would say like if you were to put it on here it, it, it'll be like that army green and then the shift to the red so it would be really interesting to test out oh my gosh so i think it has a corner though i think it works out better in the corner of the eyes so i'm not sure that's just what i'm wondering like how it would look as a lid so i have to like play around with it on my own time that's about it so what i think about this palette i highly recommend it so i don't say that all the time if i highly recommend a palette like this palette is great quality oh you guys i highly recommend this i don't always say that so that's coming from me guys and it's very easy to use too so i would say this is a beginner friendly since the mattes like the front mattes they're great formula it's not patchy at all so that's why i recommend this to beginners too if you're like really loving like if you love shimmers glimmery shimmers dual chromes all the dual chromes are so much fun you guys it adds so much like exciting man exciting so i'm really happy to have this in my collection but anyways guys that's about it so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys find this review helpful i'm so excited you guys can tell by my attitude i'm super happy very satisfied if you guys aren't subscribed already i do a lot of unboxing makeup videos all that fun stuff so i'll be really happy to have you guys here and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys